I'll crush your bones and eat your head! <laughs> I'm not playing with you anymore. Yes. <laughs> playing as Bertram. You guys seem to be loving me just modding this game and being a buffoon with no talent whatsoever. Well, most accurately, I'm just dicking about with mods I've already installed. So, yeah. Here we are. I'm Bertram. <laughs> All right. That's not petting it, Bertram. You could have given it scratches. You can't be serious. Let's go for an adventure, guys. Oh god, is this a robbery? No, I'm just joining you for an adventure. Here, fine, then just take it and go. I just want to join you for a ride, guys. Why does nobody like Bertram? No! Maniac! Get away from us! Oh please! I just cannot fathom why people would dislike me. At least I have this sick new wagon. Do you reckon we can do stunts in this wagon? Hey. <coughs> hmm. I could make a small fortune if I took these horses to Tesco. What does drunk Bertram look like? Oh god. Okay. Bouncing off the walls. I can't even stand up. Oh, I've done too much of the alcohol and now I'm going to walk along the docks because what could possibly go wrong? I think swimming is not probable. I think I've killed Bertram. It didn't take very long, but he's already gone as... <laughs> After weeks of sleeping in the river, Bertram is still drunk and standing really awkwardly, and I can't move. I found a floating wardrobe. Why this is here, I will never know. But I wonder if it will take me to Narnia. Bertram has arrived at Beecher's Hope. Hello, Abigail. It's me, Bertram. <laughs> she just doesn't know what to say. Let's sit down in my new home. I have laid claim to it. Abigail has left, which means it's all... Okay, stand on the table, why don't you? Hello, little boy. Wait, nope, not impressive enough. Let's try again. Hello, little boy. Tis I, your overlord. Come on, horse, let's go. They don't like me. Have a carrot. I love how Bertram keeps saying poo. Magnifico's up to his magic tricks again. Somebody summon Miss Marjorie. Ah yes, Miss Marjorie, look. Magnifico has spawned a boat. He pulled it out of his massive hat. You know, the one that clings to the side of his head. Miss Marjorie, what are you doing? I can't be having that. I'm better off on my own. Gamers, I've found the missing princess and for some reason she's dancing out here. It has been years and here you are dancing. You've got one hefty birthmark on your face. Allow me to make it more symmetrical. Add on top a can of Stella and that's what we call the Dirty Flirty Bertie. And to find myself a massive cliff. 
Come on, Arthur Morgan. Let's go for an adventure. See that? You're going off this cliff. Goodbye, Arthur Morgan. I can pick up Arthur Morgan's hat now. Let's do this. <laughs> yep, that is where that belongs. I'm a cowboy now. I've actually developed a theory that Bertram is actually the result of gene therapy for super soldiers. He's, a, he's, a, he's an experiment, a test tube baby. He's the first Captain America, and in the Red Dead universe, I presume the only. He can travel great distances at tremendous speeds. Bertram doesn't fuck about. takes a next level hard bastard to survive a fall like that. And that's exactly what Bertram is. Isn't that right, Bertram? Of course it is. Let the man go. You're free. Oh, so he was a bad guy. My horse needs to stop shitting itself. Hi there, that's a nice horse you have. It's a very good colour. I'm gonna take it. You can't enter the stables while in combat. I'm not in combat. I'm not in combat. Don't know how many times I have to say that I'm not in fucking combat. Oh dear. The game seems to think that I'm in combat. Fine, I'll take this horse elsewhere if that's what you want to be like. Apparently I'm in combat still, but I'm halfway across the map. Alright, I guess you're not going to be a very good fit after all, horse. I'm very sorry. You doing here? Hello. Yeah. You asked for it. In a gunfight between Bertram and yourself, you have no hope of winning. Even if you hit your mark, my brain is protected by the densest bone. Bertram is a super soldier. It's like Master Chief, but it's just Bertram. I have knife. That stab. I have literally no honor. Honor does not win the war. Fire does. Watching this bush burn out is interesting. I'm gonna set your fucking horse on fire. I really would make a killing working for Tesco. Delivering it to them pre-cooked? They love me. There we go, you no longer have a head. Dog. That's how Bertram pets dogs. He's trying his best to be nice. Now, I would love to know. Who would win in a fight between Bertram and Bertram? I'll eat you! Bertram the best. He's fine. Oh no, he's not fine. He's gone down. Which means it's time to kick him in. He's dead courtesy of excessive boot to the face. Turns out you can kill a Bertram. It just takes some serious effort. Usually you have to deploy another Bertram. But most governments in the world can only afford one. This entire time I'm talking about the war of the Bertrams, I'm just kicking one in the head. Delicious. Hello, Bertram. Okay, this Bertram is coming with me. I reckon Bertram would be a good hitman. I don't know why I think he'd be a good hitman. I just get the impression that he would be. I mean, he's a super soldier, so he's already got a lot of the pre-required skills for that sort of job. Nobody can defeat Bertram. Run in fear from Bertram. I give chase. Die already, you son of a... Can we petition to make Bertram the next protagonist for Red Dead? Where did you even come you from, man? Can I ride the cow? What value does dragging a cow like this actually have for the game? I know it has set gameplay moments where it's actually somewhat useful, but I mean outside of that. I'd probably be making better use of my time if I just lobbed a fire bottle at it. Beef anyone? Oh god, the fence is on fire. There are more cows to burn. In a bit! Now that's cooking. Don't get too close. See, you just walked into that. Mad guy. 
Best part is, I'm not even going to profit off of this. I just came here to kill these people's livestock. Oh no, the farmer has come back to life. Effective way to kill more cows. You ever look at a tombstone from the bottom? I'm gonna watch your bastard ass cut down. I accidentally blew myself up. Poo. Love how Save Bertram just says Jesus. poo. Knobhead. What? It's not like I have any honor to lose. Oh, I'm a mess. Hello there, newspaper vendor. Give me the newspapers. Bertram likes newspapers. Hello. Oh. I'm sorry, I can't command my own strength yet. Are you all right? I think she's dead. Oh, she is now. I'm looking for my friend. And Gavin, for Gavin. Has he been gone long? Uh, yes. Yeah. Strange voice you few have years. there, Bertram. You bloody years. <laughs> I can't, um, I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. I'm um, sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I've wasted my life looking. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> Gavin. Good luck. Gavin. Oh, I am oh, so worried. Gavin. Gav. Well, I'm sorry.